Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. I love the interview you guys did with Bun B, too. That one that got emotional dope. as well. He like, just did the rodeo. Yeah, he did. Yes. Yeah, he we did. did an intro for him the other night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Told us to shoot a little intro for him. How was that in the interview in Bun, man? Man, you know, we've been knowing Bun B for the longest, and that's why I was telling you earlier, like, sometimes it's just when you when you meet people and you get to know them and you don't do the interview part right away. You right. you build the relationship part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that way when they do come, it's, that's what you get. You yeah. get mm -hmm. that real shit. Yeah. You don't get the shit they the said everywhere. Stuff. You don't get, yeah, you get yeah. to have a real conversation, a real connection, and you get to get that that inside info. Wow. Because it's different. They You open. Hey, this is my brother. Hey, man, I ain't never told nobody this, but you just reminded me of that. Mm. Wow, yeah. man. It's crazy because, like I said, I don't know, you and Charlemagne and all, I mean, y'all still link with Charlemagne. Y'all do, y'all do, y'all got some type of deal with Charlemagne? Charlemagne got the Black Effect podcast yeah. well, network. Explain that to me what that is. Well, it's, it's a network of collective uh, minds and, and bodies and souls that, um, kind of black people doing progressive things on podcast platforms and we kind of we kind of like channel all of them in, into one that's you all can go pull up some um you can pull up different different genres of podcasts that you may not have been able to connect okay with, you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like um he does a lot of work with with mandy and the girls over at horrible decisions and then you can go on there and you'll get to see uh, Tesla or you would get to see some black women cooking or yeah. some black women drinking some wine or some black men reviewing some cigars. So it's pretty much just like a catalog of everything black that you can find in the podcast world. That's you know crazy. What so that's what the black effect is. Well, let me, on a lighter note, he went from, they used to be trying to charge him up and tell him, give me the drop and all that. You know, he come yeah, from, yeah. A, he come a long ways. Well, I was just definitely. thinking about that. Like he, from him starting, you know, with the breakfast club from not, before the break, but from him starting interviewing people yeah. to now, the nigga done moved, uh, he evolved a lot. Yeah. Right. Question, what do I think of Donald Trump? Listen. What do you think of Donald Trump? I think Donald Trump. Does he realize his power? Yeah, yeah. There yeah. ain't a whole lot of people in the power who has the position of the Breakfast Club like yeah. Charlemagne, and he's a great business. Oh, he's smart. So even with the, the whole let me get a drop shit, it's like, he just took that and kind of used it to the public persona, Charlemagne. Yeah. They don't know the businessman who be writing books and making all these plays happen behind the scene, the producer, the, the EP, yeah. the, the director and shit like that. They just get to see the, oh, he said some wild shit on the Breakfast Club, but then they don't even go check out the other shit. Uh, that yeah, yeah. So yeah, he got things like Black Effect, he done wrote four or five books. And yeah, that nigga point. hard, I ain't gonna lie. I became a big fan just watching yeah. him. And then, I, you know, I, like I said, I, I definitely, man, since I've been seeing you and the way y'all consistent, man, this podcast stuff though, what is it doing? Is it, is it, does it help our people? Does Most it definitely. push it? Explain to me, like, you got so many different people talking, right? Right. Okay, it, and our people are watching, right? Right. What is it doing? Bro, think about how far behind we are in communication. Okay. It used to be illegal for black people to talk to each other. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? We're 100 years behind in communication. This is, I mean, this might be the shit that actually bring us together. Wow. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense. Different point of views, different perspectives. Okay, we disagree on this, but why? Okay, we can just agree to disagree. It's like now we can open, we can talk about anything. Yeah. We yeah. got to get the bullshit out of the way first. We're going to talk about the entertainment. In five, ten years, we might be hosting one of them black summits where they need us to come <laughs> down right. and get the media for the street. Hey, boss, talk. We got uh, Barack Obama want to talk to somebody. He want to talk to everybody. Got all the black podcast. media. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? So don't just think of it as podcast. Just, just think black of it media. Black media. Yeah, that, that makes sense right. too when you think and of it. And that's why I see you, you mix it up with your guests too. You bring yeah. You bring yeah. rappers and entertainers, yeah, everybody, and, and then you know, cooks. That, we got it, man. Just bring black people on the show. Get yeah, some cook. Get some some black police officers. Yeah, I some black everybody. Sheriffs. Oh man, we had we had the uh, sheriff of Fulton County when he was running on our show, and wow. he actually won. He won. So do you know what that does for us to know that man? We got a direct connect mm -hmm. with the sheriff. I mean, we oh. had Doctor Fauci call. Man, wow, from, from the um. From the White House, bro. We had my boy Doug Lawson down in Florida, District 5. He was coming to all the 85 South shows. And then, like, he 
he went from just a black man with a vision and a dream, and then he came on the platform, and we was in this city, and he told everybody, hey, I'm, I'm Doug Lawson, I'm doing this. I ain't had the opportunity to speak to my people in this amount of mass. Man, Doug been been down there. He done held, held his pie for like three, four years. Wow. Bro. Man, so it's like we got to just create black media. Wow. That's it. Um, being a celebrity, right? Oh, he's a celebrity? In, in, yeah. Big time celebrity, right? Big time right. celebrity. He don't want to say that. I never claimed that. That's what really. I'm saying. Don't let the nigga know what, what does doing that mean? <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> In today's society, especially with social media and the media, everything out here, once the pub can make or break a career, a lot of times nowadays. And um, do you ever have a fear of, you know, saying the wrong thing or being caught in the wrong position or something like that, where you, your show might get canceled or something like that? Or nope. how are they gonna cancel? I got my own app. What they gonna cancel it off of? Or I'm talking even maybe your fans is canceling because you said something wrong and they I didn't like it. A, I can get some new fans. <laughs> okay. There's seven billion people on this earth. I guarantee you probably 6.9999 a <laughs> billion of them ain't even heard of the show yet. That's real. I, I move to Indonesia and start over. Because <laughs> you know how this industry is and that's how they I be doing it. I just can't imagine me being the nigga that I am that I would say something to make Every nigga in America mad. <laughs> Not every. Everyone. Oh, there's too many niggas that agree with me. Because you know what? I was just looking at something and I saw where Madonna popped up and she was having her show. And you, you had a concert, right? And she doing her show. She saw somebody right there, like close to the front, sitting down. She stopped her show, like, "Why are you sitting down in my show? Like you supposed to be standing." She walked over there and guess what? She realized. What? He paralyzed. The, the person in a wheelchair. Damn. And she said, "Oh, okay." You know what I'm saying? Realized. Now, I'm not playing. You still got to get up. You know, I'm throwing, so I'm going to take it there all the way. <laughs> I might help them stand But something in. like that, some people end up, this fans was, you know, shaming her and She'll stuff like that. She'll get over it, though. Like that, that ain't going to last long, mm -hmm. is it? That ain't going to last no, long. It's Madonna, bro. She has done way, <laughs> way worse. Way worse. Shit, didn't but it? that's showing you just saying stuff off the top of your head and not realizing, you know, especially out when you're out in public like that. You know what I mean? No, I don't think I know. I hope not. I mean, we've had people at our shows who were in wheelchairs, and we done rode around the whole arena on them. So we got a different <laughs> type of fan base. You ain't seen some of the wild <laughs> shit. You ever heard of my partner named Wheelchair Man? Uh-uh. Oh, we, we'll pull up the Wheelchair Man. You did? No. Will. Oh. Wheelchair Man came to the show. He in the wheelchair. Next thing you know, we look up, this nigga standing up. <laughs> he didn't fail. Uh, play me some shit. Yeah, I can ride in the wheelchair, too. What'd you say? <laughs> wheelchair man rolling blunts and everything, man. Shout out to the wheelchair oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. 